when it comes to chili, everyone in the tri-state is fiercely loyal to their favorite chili parlor. The debate on which one is the best can get fiery, so we're not even gonna touch who's the best, what your favorite one is, that type of thing. Instead, we're gonna tell you about an event celebrating all of the different ways to make Cincinnati's signature dish. And this morning, I'm joined by Joey Witterstetter, one of the organizers for an event called A Night with Cincinnati Chili Royalty. Good morning, thank you for joining us. Good morning, Jen. So what made you guys decide you wanted to have an event with Cincinnati Chili Royalty, and how did you get all these chili places to kind of come together in one setting. <laughs> so it all started with my colleague Dan Woolert. He wrote a book called The Authentic History of Cincinnati Chili and um, he created a, um, a, a, a book that basically just encompassed everything about Cincinnati Chili, whether it be the small chain or the uh, the small little mom and pop shop. And um, he wanted to celebrate the 100th anniversary and we wanted to celebrate the 100th anniversary. So he decided to get some of his contacts. We have um, Johnny Karajev of Empress Chili, Joe Lambernitas II of Skyline, uh -huh. and Roger David of Gold Star, all being uh, a part of this round table panel discussion about Cincinnati Chili. So with this event tonight, people can come out and be part of it. What exactly will be happening at this event tonight? So what will be happening, Dan will actually be moderating the event and um, it will be a bunch of anecdotes, stories of the origins of the of each brand and also the, the origin of Cincinnati Chili. And um, it will be just a, you know, a look behind the steam table, if you will. And um, it, uh, it'll be a great event. It is free for everybody. It's at Mount St. Joseph University. It's at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. You can go to delhihistoricalsociety.org slash events to uh, register and get your ticket. But if you do not have um, a chance to get to the website, we do accept walk-ups as okay. well. So people can walk up tonight. Now, will there be any trying of chilies tonight? Or are we leaving that we're alone gonna, because we don't want, you know, any we're battles going, going to on? leave that to everybody uh, in their own volition. We don't want to compete with anybody. Now, 100 years of chili, that's just remarkable. And when somebody comes to Cincinnati and hasn't tried Cincinnati chili before, I'm not going to I'm not going to ask you to pick one to go to. OK, but do you like what would the process be, you think, of trying to describe Cincinnati style chili? Because Aaliyah's new to Cincinnati, so we've been trying to describe it to her. It's, it's very different than, you know, say Texas style chili. Very, and, and each chili yes. parlor around here kind of does it a little bit differently. Yes, I would say some are spicier, some are sweeter, but um, they all have that unique um, blend of spices and the, the, the meat and it's all based on a Greek sauce okay. that's what it is it's not actually a chili per se it's more of a meat sauce meat sauce see Bob needs to be here because Bob that sounds like right up Bob Herzog's alley is the meat sauce all right well that's a good way to describe it and I wish we had more time to get into you know all the individual chili parts we need like you know how there's the bourbon trail we need a chili trail absolutely here in Cincinnati where you can get like a card and stamp it up and go into all the chili parts but tonight uh, again at Mount St. Joe starts at 7 yes and it's free and anyone can come and hear about the history of chili and we'll make sure all that information at is at local12.com as well thank you so much for doing the event thank you and for talking to us about absolutely. it absolutely